G'day, mate. 40 here, listening to Athenian Stranger on Alex Kashuda's podcast. To be emphasized with, with the embrace of the, the, the rapidity, the, the fast pace society that we're living in that's only increased that's what the whole point of social media is it increases it increases uh, the rapidity with which we fly through life and the more not necessarily you get to control the rapidity with which you fly through life all right i just come from tenham sands right? people aren't flying through life in tenham sands right you can choose where you want to live you can choose the speed of life that you want to lead right? it's not being chosen for you by facebook or twitter or youtube Right. You get to decide. You can join a religious community, which will help you slow down. You can join a contemplative community. It might help you slow down. You get a good therapist. It might help you slow down. Join the 12-step program. It might help you slow down. You can exercise on a regular basis. It might help you calm down. If you've got ADHD, get a psychiatrist, get medication, get techniques for dealing with a racing mind. Or that that gets increased without people being aware of it. They sim- we, we simply become less thoughtful. I mean, it's, it's just, a, it, to me, that's obvious, is that we become less thoughtful because we immediately think, well, hold on, I'll ask my friend about this, or I'll ask my friend about this, right? It's like everyone knows someone uh, who can do it for them, and, and it doesn't matter what the thing is, you know, they're going to they're gonna defer to them, and so they're all, uh, we all become less thoughtful because of that. Really? Are we really becoming less thoughtful because of social media or because the world is uh, faster paced? Uh, I sense people with IQs over 120 who are pretty doggone thoughtful. Right? We all do what we're good at. Right? People are good at playing basketball, play a lot of basketball. People are good at thinking about abstract concepts, think about abstract concepts. People are good at cooking, cook. Like people who are good at you know, figuring out naughty philosophical or logical questions, that's what they like to do in their spare time. Now, I think I'm reasonably good at live streaming and creating videos and discussing ideas. So that's what I do here on my vacation in Australia. Right? We're gonna do what we're good at and we're going to try to avoid things that we're not good at. Yeah, I, I recently read something, a snippet of something actually, a very quick snippet on social media. I think it was from, from Zero HP. Um, and I think he was reviewing that book by the last psychiatrist, the Sadly Porn book, I think. And I, I don't know if this is his idea or if it's something that he's taken out of the book and explaining. Uh, but the idea that essentially all of visual media is porn, and especially it is porn at this point, where because you're not allowing yourself, or this media is not allowing you to generate your own fantasies. It's all been planted into you. And in a way, you're kind of living out these, you know, these, these weird um, ideas that someone else... Look, it's around the earliest times, our thoughts, our fantasies, right, our hero systems came from our community, right? It still comes from our community, our extended community. But uh, you think 45,000 years ago, people weren't getting thoughts and dreams and a sense of meaning and a transcendent hero system from their community? Of course they were. Right? There's never been a time when we've just been individuals making our own decisions, choosing and creating our own hero systems you know, without regard to the community in which we live. Especially marketers. Like, you know, I've been recently like, kind of gently trying to renovate my, my home. Um, and actually, um, I had, I had some, some very strict ideas about what it would look like. And now, like, in the last few days, I feel like I've woken up from a dream because my home is kind of like my family home. Um, we have also it's kind of like a museum, most of the stuff that my parents have collected throughout the years. And, you know, weirder stuff, nicer stuff, whatever. My, my idea was to completely gut it and turn it into like whatever a restoration hardware type, you know, place that looks, you know, like that's someone from some mommy blogger. From- I don't know. The, the girls I knew growing up would constantly rearrange their room. They're constantly nesting. Right? It sounds like quintessential, you know, female drama. Interest implanted into my brain through sponsored, you know, deals. Uh- no, it doesn't come from sponsors. It, women were doing that before there was TV, before there was radio, before there were newspapers. Right, women are constantly adjusting the nest. This isn't just some alien thought that was implanted in Alex Kashuta you know, by the advertising industry. And I was just about to pull the trigger on buying some weird stuff, changing everything out, and then I realized, what am I doing? <laughs> I'm just trying to uh, replicate this pornographic dream of a home, a standard American, whatever, I don't know, ranch-style home that doesn't even fit into, into the world that I live in. Doesn't... So there was a review in the New York Times recently of of the trouble that monks had with distraction in the Middle Ages. So even monks in the Middle Ages, they constantly dealt with distraction. They constantly dealt with their attention being taken elsewhere from what they wanted. Right? Their, their minds were racing in the Middle Ages. Monks were struggling with racing minds in the Middle Ages. Right? This, this is just all part of being human. It's just you know, not some you know, nefarious left-wing plot. With anything I have, I would literally have to throw everything out and buy new stuff. 
it completely ignores the fact that I have, you know, wonderful kind of almost artwork type furniture that my parents left me. And I, just, I, I felt completely retarded because I feel like I'm bulletproof to a lot of psyops just because, you know, I've been in Frog Twitter for probably almost a decade now and, you know, adjacent spaces. Um, and, um, you know, <laughs> this, this taught me a lot about, about you know, essentially this, this strange pornographic nature of everything that comes through, through the little, the little square. Um, and it's Look, monks were struggling with the same thing 800 years ago, right? It's uh, having an advertising industry and social media. It uh, hasn't radically transformed uh, being hu human, right? And we did not evolve to be gullible. I don't know. It was almost almost scary to, to kind of wake up from that. Yeah, so she, she had some obsessions that were not in her best interest. All right, and that comes from our biology. It comes from you know hormones. It comes from you know getting a dopamine rush. Right? You still struggle with these same things, you know, even uh, if you weren't watching TV. All of that sounds exactly correct. You know, it used to be it used to be able to say something like seeing is believing, but now everyone has seen everything with the way in which you I mean, you can literally see everything with a with a quick search on the old Google. Uh, but the danger there, and I know that the, the, the sort of the porn reference there is just kind of an analogy, but really it's not even an analogy because sort of the dopamine and all that is the same. But we're in uncharted territory now. Because yeah, the, the, there's something to this, right? right there, there's more, you know, dopamine rushes easily available to us. But uh, I think they're overstating their case.